Heart disease, one of the top killers in America today. Um, and probably one of the most frustrating um, topics that I hear. And the reason is, is because of the cholesterol myth, is what I call it. Uh, most doctors are running a total cholesterol on their patients. Matter of fact, almost every patient. And if you're above 200, you will be unfortunate enough to land yourself on a statin drug anywhere above a total cholesterol of 200. So hear me, please, because this will save your life. These statin drugs, I can't tell you not to go, go off of one, and I can't tell you not to go on one. However, I can tell you the research. The research shows that statin drugs have a small effect on actually lowering your risk for a heart attack. However, what the, drug, the, the, the studies do show is that it has a massive effect on your health the contrary. Matter of fact, it has an effect on your liver, it has an effect on your joints, and it has an effect on causing congestive heart failure. Now look, I could go on about the dangers of statin drugs, but I want to tell you another really important point. Because the problem is really this. Total cholesterol has very little to do with whether you have a heart attack or not. The important thing is the oxidation of cholesterol is really the key. So, it doesn't matter if you have really high cholesterol, it doesn't matter if you have low cholesterol. It's the oxidation of cholesterol that plays the bigger role. What we do in my clinic is we don't look at total cholesterol, we look at the particle number of cholesterol because see, the more particles you have of LDL, the more oxidation that can occur. Now, what I find often in my clinic is people with low cholesterol have a high particle number. And also I find that people that have high cholesterol can have a normal particle number, see? So it doesn't always line up. The correct test that you want to run is called an NMR test. This is a test that I run in my heart disease panel always. I also do a C-reactive protein to look at inflammation. See, look, if you learn anything from this piece, it's this. Cholesterol isn't the cause of heart disease, it's inflammation. Now, the oxidation can cause a placking which actual, of, of the cholesterol and cause placking in the arteries, which can cause more inflammation. Inflammation is the key. I also run it what is called a PLA2 test which is inflammation of the arteries. So you can see my testing really is gauged towards the causes of inflammation and inflammation itself. And the neat thing is, is when you put a patient on the right protocol, in two months we can see these blood numbers change without medication. And really that's always my goal as a physician, is number one, we want to treat the body naturally. Look, you've heard me say it again and again, the body can heal itself. All we can do as a physician is remove the interference and let the body do the healing. The problem is, is number one, physicians are doing the wrong testing. Number two, they're definitely not getting rid of the cause. You know, dietary changes, significant. My cellular healing diet, and you can get on my website, click on the cellular healing diet, it is absolutely the diet that we use for heart disease. High blood pressure, high particle number of cholesterol, and many other degenerative conditions. So look, number one, we have to remove the cause, but it really starts with doing the correct test. I hope this helps, and man, I, you know, get the test done. If it's not me, use one of my doctors who I train, but get the right test done, and then absolutely get the right treatment.